डीएनए पोलीमोर्फिजम डीएनए पोलीमोर्फिजम इज अ सीक्वेंस डेट इज कंपेयर टू अ रेफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन वन टू टू परसेंट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर पॉपुलेशन इफ देयर इज सच अ डिफरेंस इन द पॉपुलेशन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज डीएनए पोलीमोर्फिजम DNA polymorphism can be of a single nucleotide and it can be of thousands of the nucleotide if we take the example in case of single nucleotide polymorphism which is variation at just one point of the DNA while in case of VNTR that can be a very variation of more than 8 or less than 50 nucleotides DNA polymorphism may have effect on the phenotype of the individual or it do not have effect on the phenotype of the individual those polymorphisms which are usually present within the coding regions they have effect on the phenotype while those polymorphisms which are present between the genes they usually do not have effect on the phenotypes in this diagram we can see that what is the difference of a single nucleotide at a particular location of the dna there are three humans and we can see that they have dna sequence same that is g c a and remaining this sequence of the dna but at a particular location one of the individual has a adenine second individual has guanine and third individual has thymine so this is called as single nucleotide polymorphism because there is a variation at a single point of the dna dna polymorphisms are found throughout the genomes they are present on each part of the dna they are present on all the chromosomes if a polymorphic sequence is known then that polymorphic sequence can act as a uh, as a location to identify other genes or other genetic markers so known polymorphic regions they can act they can perform to identify other genes as well as other genetic regions on the genomes polymorphic markers they have dif different versions there can be two versions or two alleles and there can be more than two alleles like in case of polygenic traits where there are multiple alleles or multiple versions of the uh, polymorphisms in this diagram we can see that what are linked snps and what are uh, causative snps polymorphism can be silent and it can be exhibited at level of proteins in case of those polymorphisms which are present in non coding regions like these polymorphisms they are present in non coding region so such type of the polymorphism they do not have any effect on the proteins while on the other hand those polymorphisms which are present either in the regulatory regions or in the coding regions they do have effects on the phenotypes like here we can see that non coding uh, snips change the amount of protein if a single nucleotide polymorphism is present in the regulatory region then there would be effect on the protein production while those uh, um, polymorphisms which are present in the coding regions like they are present in the coding regions then amino acid would be changed due to the presence of the polymorphism why to study the polymorphisms polymorphisms they are essential for the inheritance patterns with the help of polymorphisms we can check the inheritance patterns between the individuals or in the families they map phenotypes many phenotypes and the responsible genes they are mapped with the help of polymorphic markers they also determine change in the function 
if there is any change in the function of the gene there there are some genes that can be resistance and some genes that can have sensitive for certain phenotypes so these are the main functions why we study the polymorphism in the uh, different organisms in case of humans if we take the example of the humans 99.9% uh, .9 genome of the humans is identical the sequence of the dna is same there is just variation of 0.1% due to this variation of 0.1% in the nucleotides we see all the variations that are present in the humans we can see these variations in the form of eye colors in the form of height in the form of skin colors in the form of color of the hairs these are all variations which are due to the polymorphic regions which are present on the human genome so if we conclude that dna polymorphism is a sequence difference compared to a standard reference which is present in 1 to 2% of a particular population